So you're watching this video because you are thinking of buying or you have already bought a Versys X300 and you've decided that you're going to start doing a bit of cosplay and dress up your Versys to look like a tourer. You're thinking about maybe riding some trails or a little bit of off-roading or going on a nice long ride with your little 300. And I'll be honest, I think this could be a bike that will do that quite well. I mean, just look at it. It definitely looks like a serious adventure tourer bike, especially with those uh, off-road sort of 60, 40 tires that you can see here. It's definitely a great start to adventure motorcycling. So I've owned this bike for quite a few months now. And the first thing that became apparent is that I wanted a top box. I mean, I could have gone to Kawasaki and paid the close to thousand dollars for what they're offering, but I didn't quite want to spend a thousand dollars more on a bike that cost seven thousand dollars. So I did what I always do. I went to my favorite online store, AliExpress, and bought this wonderful top box you see before you. What top box is going to look good? I think that's that's the main question we should ask ourselves. Do any top boxes look really good? I mean, I really like those uh, utilitarian, uh, squarey ones. You can't really buy those on the cheap. This, however, was quite, quite cheap. So let's have a quick look. So yeah, it's all plastic. All right, so we come around to the front of the box. It has this uh, backrest section, you can see, this little rectangle on the lid. And it's also made out of plastic, so um, you could maybe put something softer in front of that, screw it to that section, but yeah. So it has two hinges, they look really flimsy. Uh, I thought they're going to crack and break apart straight, like fairly quickly, but they didn't. They've lasted through the first few rides. And um, I'll show you some footage later of some of the roads that it has um, gotten over and, and still working without a problem. So yeah, look, I think it looks pretty good. Kind of matches the bike. The, the yellow doesn't quite match the greeny yellow stripe on the Versys, but it's not bad. I specifically bought the one with the yellow stripe so that it's a bit more visual. I mean, the bike is very like uh, gray and dark and lots of black sections. And I wanted something that's a little bit more, you know, visual, it sticks out a little bit more. So uh, it has that yellow stripey section there. And then it also has the red reflector at the back. There is no light on this one, but I, yeah, I think that's not a real huge issue. Yeah, so it looks quite good, quite compact. I think it suits the bike in terms of its proportionality. It's not, not too large. It's uh, about the good size for this particular bike. Okay, and we're just walking around again, just showing more of the styling of this thing. And I'll speak about the other bits and pieces. Like it's got crash bars and like engine protector bars and that front headlight protector. I'll speak about those in a separate video, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna focus on this box today. So yeah, but oh, I love walking around it. it. It looks so good. I mean, for a 300, it's, it's yeah, very nice. It comes with a little key. It's about half the size of the bike key. Quite compact and I just have it sitting there on the key fob. Now here's the mechanism for how to lock the lid and it's a little bit tricky, but once you work it out and you work out how to do it, it's quite easy, but it has like a flap that goes up over a little lip and then it just sort of clips down and it has another little locking mechanism, that red little square there. And that's it, but yeah, you can see I can do it with one hand. Took a little bit of practice, and but um, yeah, you can definitely do it. Installation was a little bit tricky, so I've had to drill into that plate that you see there. And the left-hand side has a nylock nut. The right-hand side actually, the right-hand nut actually vibrated off on the right. So I, you'll definitely need nylocks if you're gonna take this thing off-road, a few vibrations. And here's my little dodgy up in the inside to, make sure that the plastic isn't just gonna crack into one spot, so just distribute the vibrations a little bit. And um, yeah, so installation wasn't too bad. Mind a mess. Um, yeah, a few bits and pieces from the last ride. Anyway, it has this little cord on the side there to uh, keep the lid open when you pop it up, so that's a you know a good little feature. I mean, you probably should have it, and there it is. And it again, it looks a bit flimsy, but it's, you know, it look, it's going to do the job. And there's those Lovely small little thing. Uh, yeah, mind a, mind a mess. Yep. Okay. Zip. You always need zip ties. Always, always. And deodorant. And that was the box that the zip ties were in. Um. Yeah. Let's just move on. Have a look at the top box. It's beautiful. Okay. So 
Um, the lid is very secure. I'll just show you again how it up and over and done. Boom. Okay, so you can really do it quite quickly. But the, yeah, the lid is quite secure. It's never come and done for me. Definitely well, well designed. And okay, so I want to show you what it's like to mount the bike uh, because sometimes these top boxes can protrude onto where you swing your leg. And oh, I was close. Yeah. So yeah, you can clear, but you just gotta kind of lean forward just a tiny little bit when you swing your leg over, otherwise you're gonna hit the box. And while I was doing this footage, I actually super slow, oh, look at that butt. That's some good butt right there. When I was doing this, I actually did hit the box a couple of times when I was practicing how to show you what, what it's like. And I have you know, tapped the box a few times. There's that butt again. Okay, enough, enough butt, let's move on. Just finally to finish off, I just wanted to include a little bit more footage of me on my first few rides so you can see what it's like uh, in terms of where the box has been. Like I said, one of the non-nylock nuts had vibrated off, so definitely use nylocks when you are going to bolt this down onto the bracket. Yeah, it's taken a little bit of a beating and it's stayed in one piece, so construction's quite good. Very happy really with uh, how well it's lasted considering the terrain and the um, bumps and scratches and things that have, uh, you know, that have occurred on these rides. Okay, so that's about it, everyone. I'm going to let the video play and show you a little bit more of the terrain that it's been on. I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. There's more Versys content coming up, more about my Harley and motorcycles and all sorts of things. So if you've got any questions or comments, please write them below. I'm still trying to answer everyone uh, who's got questions about these things. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone. I think we stick to left. No, not forward drive. No, it... It narrowed up. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy to get lost, eh? Jesus. Yes. I think we are lost. <laughs>